people died from suspected drug overdoses in just one day. That's according to the Jefferson County Coroner's Office over the weekend. And in this is after more than 400 people have died from drugs just last year in the county. Lauren Jackson joins us with how health leaders, Lauren, are working to tackle these deadly opioid crises and folks starting with uh, fentanyl because people are dying from that most, right? Yeah, Catherine, Brittany, Jefferson County health leaders say fentanyl is killing people here locally at just an alarming rate and across the country. The county is now passing out fentanyl testing strips. They started that last year. So far, they've distributed thousands, but this drug is still causing these overdoses, so they really want to make sure that you are staying extra careful. What's happening with overdose deaths in our community is something that we, you know, we must pursue. There were 416 confirmed drug overdose deaths last year in Jefferson County. And health department leaders are now working to spread fentanyl testing strips throughout the community. They started passing them out last September. By the end of 2022, we have distributed right around 9,000 fentanyl test strips. Um, and each individual who requests them gets five test strips with each request. Um, so that's around 1,700 individuals. Each kit comes with recovery resources and information on how to use the strips. The strips will find fentanyl on any type of drug, but you have to test the entire drug. There is an effect known as the chocolate chip cookie effect where there may be fentanyl, say, in part of a pill, but not in the other part of the pill. And if you don't test the entire pill, you could miss it or get a false leak negative result. And medical director Dr. Darlene Traffinstead says the health department has now also seen an increase in orders for Narcan, the medicine that reverses an opioid overdose. From 2020, where we dispensed around 1,085 kits to 2022, when we mailed out 6,600 kits, um, you can see um, how much increased uptake we've seen over the last few years. Pleased with the distribution numbers so far, she says the health department will continue to buy more of these strips and distribute them statewide, tracking the numbers county by county. With the use of fentanyl test strips, that people are likely to modify their use if they test if the substance tests positive for fentanyl. So we're surely hoping that that's what's happening in our community. Now, health department officials say they are working with local businesses and bars around town, trying to help supply them with these testing strips to pass them out to customers. Now, these strips are free along with that Narcan medicine, and you can find a link right now to sign up and get these strips on your WBRC News app. Catherine.